I'm a believer that when one door closes, another door opens. And when that door closes, a door bigger and better opens. Sit y'all down, baby, because we got a lot to talk about. <sighs> y'all, it has been freaking four freaking months since your girl has literally been on YouTube and since I have posted on YouTube, since I uploaded my last video to YouTube, I have gotten trillions, trillions, trillions of messages, DMs, tweets from y'all just stating how y'all miss me, how y'all was ready for me to come back. Y'all like, all right, girl, time is ticking. Where you at? And we ready for you to be back on YouTube. YouTube is boring without you. Where are you at, baby? Your girl is back and back better than ever. Someone even DM my friend, y'all, this little warning poster or missing per poster of me. I'm gonna insert the little screenshot of it. But I don't know who made that. Whoever made that, come for it, please. Cause y'all are crazy, but I know y'all, I've been gone off of YouTube for four months. officially back on snapchat so go add me my instagram no, my, instagram. my snapchat name is just my name that's on every other platform d-e-a-r-a d-e-r-a taylor so y'all can keep up with me on my day to day like real time and baby like that's why i love snapchat because it's in real time well it can be in real time it don't have to be in real time but usually i post in real time in my day to day so follow your girl on snapchat because i'll be there over i'll be over there as well so if i ain't posting youtube videos your girl is on Snapchat. So I add my little Snapchat QR code so y'all can scan it and follow and add your girl on Snapchat. And a lot of people on Snapchat have been saying like, I literally downloaded Snapchat again just for you. So shout out to you. But we are gonna get into this vlog vlog. Well, it's not gonna be a vlog vlog. It's gonna be a vlog vlog. But it's gonna be like a catch up because I feel like since it's been four months since I posted on YouTube, we gotta catch up. I gotta like give y'all the whole scoop of everything. Yes, your girl is in a new house, but We'll talk about that later. And y'all get the whole inside scoop of that in another vlogger vlog. So the last, my last, let me, make, let me go look. When was my last video posted? I know my last video was posted last year, 2023. We are in a new year. So this is my first video back, my first vlog. This is my first video back on YouTube in 2024. That is insane. Like, 
It's even crazy to me that one, I've been gone from YouTube that long, but it's even more crazy to me that we are in 2024. Like I remember the days and the time where we were literally thinking about like 2025, like dang, 2025 is so far from here. Like, and now we are in 2024. That is insane to me. So, my, oh! my last video was posted four months ago on November 21st. So we got a lot to catch up on from the end of October, from November 21st when I posted my last video all the way up until today, which is April 1st, 2024. Y'all know I like to organize everything, so I have like all of my notes and all of my questions that you guys ask me so that I can answer them. I pretty much just catch y'all up from, you know, the time that I last posted my video up until now. And I just wanna say like, number one, thank y'all, thank y'all so much for all the outpouring love and all the outpouring support for myself and for my brand as well. Even on this break, like y'all have literally just been, I've been seeing y'all in places, y'all coming to me, talking about how much y'all miss me, y'all tell me every single day, every time I get on Instagram, it's a new DM saying how much y'all miss me. Every time I get on Twitter, it's always a new tweet telling me how much y'all miss me and y'all ready for me to come back. And I miss y'all so much. I literally have literally been planning my full comeback. Like I have so much in store. Y'all don't even, y'all don't even know that. <laughs> Y'all don't even know the half of like literally what's to come. But, but listen, 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 listen. Y'all already know this though. When I go on my little breaks, I go on my breaks obviously to, you know, pour my cup, fill back up my cup so that I can, because baby, it be empty sometimes. And like I already mentioned before, you can't pour from an empty cup. So obviously your girl has to go on a little break, fill back up my cup, fill back up my energy, and just, you know, get back in this, you know, the groove of things and get back in the space and get back mentally in my head about, you know, just creating content and just, you know, being where I am today and just, you know, pushing forward on where I want to be. Like, y'all, y'all understand how much, how much it is. And y'all know when I go on breaks, I never come back empty handed, baby. Like, I don't, I don't just go on breaks just to go, go on breaks. Y'all know this. That's all I'm gonna say. Just know what's to come and what I have in store for y'all is literally just gonna be <laughs> magnificent. All right, so like I mentioned, I pretty much wrote all my notes down. I literally have October 2023 up until the present day, and I literally have jotted down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the list goes on of everything that I have literally done on this break. And just everything that's, you know, been going on in my life. And like I said, answering questions that y'all had. So the first question was, which y'all already know is what prompted my hiatus from social media or like, you know, just my break on YouTube in general. And like I said, the main thing was, obviously you can't pour from an empty cup. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So, and my cup was empty. I feel like it's, I'm always doing something. My mind is always racing. I just never have time. Or I just never just sit myself down. You know how many people say you have leisure time? I don't know what to do with my leisure time. So I feel like I never have leisure time. Like it may look like, you know, things are glitz and glamour, I'm traveling, I'm going here, but most of the time when I'm traveling and I'm doing these things, it's literally for work. And it's literally work, it's literally content. And that can be so overwhelming, it can be so draining, especially when you're doing it consistently and you, you know, been doing this for years, baby. Like, I think, how long have I been doing this? I don't even know how long I've been doing YouTube, but it's been a while and, you know, Obviously, when you've done something for so long, it can become draining, especially when you just don't have those breaks and you don't have that time to just take a step back and just regain focus. So that was like the main reason why I went on my hiatus and why I went on my break. And I would just say, basically going into the next question, how was it, y'all? My break, like the last time, honestly, this break was longer. So this break was honestly the best break ever. Like it's literally been, so rewarding and so amazing to literally just go live life in the moment and just, you know, be, just be present in time and without having to pick up the camera, without having to film and just create content or without, or without having to have my mind racing 24 seven. Like it's literally been so rewarding and it's been amazing y'all. Like my break has been great and I'm gonna go down every single thing that I've done. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen it on Instagram. Some things was posted, some things wasn't. But my break literally has been amazing, y'all. Like, and it's just honestly so crazy because 
my friends, and even y'all will literally be like, you don't even be, you don't even be posting on like social media and like everybody is always still talking about you, which is honestly crazy to me. Like I believe in out of sight, out of mind, but still on your, still on your mind. And that's kind of how I feel, which is why when I go on these breaks, I always feel, I always feel it that y'all miss me because y'all never, ever, ever just let me leave, leave or go on a break without telling me or reminding me how much y'all miss me or just, you know, talking about me and reminding me that, you know, y'all love me and y'all are still there and y'all are waiting on me. But y'all understand, I'm going to keep saying it, but baby, what I have to, what I have is just, have any surprises on what's to come and what move I'm gonna make next. And like I said, baby, when I go on these breaks, they don't go in vain. I always come back with something, baby. Never come back empty, empty handed. And it's always a purpose for every single thing that I do. And this break, like I said, has been so rewarding. The things that I have done, the things that I've created. <sighs> Over this break, it's just, uh, let's get into it. This is a good question though. It's basically said, how was my time away how has my time away impacted my perspective on social media and its influence? And honestly, y'all, I've like I said, I've been still on social media, like posting and stuff. But I also like when I go ghost, I don't be on no media. Like I literally take a break from social media on my phone, not even going on it. And honestly, I feel like this is like I do social media. Obviously, it's what I love to do. I love creating. And I like a million and one. I tell a million and one people, y'all. Like when it comes to YouTube. This is why YouTube is probably one of my top, top platforms is because I can create. And like my creativity, like everything that goes on in my head, I love doing it and I love seeing it come to life. And I just like putting out my best work. Like I just love the, you know, the content that I create, how my editors edit, the things that, you know, the collaborations with what I film and how they make it come to life or on what how I envision it. Like, I literally love that and I love uploading, I love creating for you guys to watch at home and you know, just be like, girl, I love this video, I love this edit. I love what you did, I love the idea that you just created. Like when I did, say for instance, last year when I went for my van life, when I was sponsored by Google Maps and I did my whole little van life thing and I was like, let me know if that was, y'all wanted that to be a series and y'all loved it, y'all. Y'all wanted it to be a series, which again, stay tuned for this year because your girl will be back in a van, traveling somewhere else in another part of the world. But yes, y'all, like it has literally showed me that social media honestly can be extremely, extremely, damage into your mind, damage into your peace, especially when you're in this space of it being your job, ultimately. Like, this is this is my work of place. <laughs> this is my place of work. <laughs> and so I feel like when I do take these breaks and I, and I, you know, not on social media, not even looking at media, even if I'm not posting or not, it, it has shown me that it can be damaging to the mind, to the mind because it, it has zero, literally nothing to do with me on the media. That it just goes for just what's on the media, what you see, no matter if you want to see it or not. Like just the news. Like it's always something depressing happening. It's always something going on. It's always a death. It's always just the world is just never ending. You know what I'm saying? Like never ending of things that's happening, whether that's whether it's good or bad. And most of the time, the things that you see on the media be sometimes just be negative and just be horrible like sad and it's just like i honestly when i look at these things even though i am a person that watch id which i had to take a break from id because it could be having me paranoid but not even just that in a sense like take that away and just looking at the media and everything that's you know just on the media it sometimes can be extremely depressing and i feel like when you look at these things consistently you can kind of take in that energy of you know always looking at something sad or something sad post um, popping up on your for you page and the next thing you know you said because baby I well I don't even remember if it was a a month ago or how long ago it was but it was a post it was like a TikTok that came up on my for you page and I don't even know what was the context of it but it was like an older man or something like that or something happened I don't even remember the context but I just know I was sitting in my car and I was scrolling on TikTok and I was watching that TikTok. And y'all, I literally bust out crying. And I was like, see? See, that's what I'm saying. I empathize so much and I have, and I'm so sensitive. So when I see little things, whether it can just be small, it can be something cute 
or it can be something sad or depressed or in depressing and it will literally make me cry and I'm just like it's all within the mind and I feel like when you consume so much of that it's just it just puts a damper on you so having a break and honestly taking a hiatus that has really showed me what it is to just be on the media all the freaking time outside of it being your job like it can literally damage your mental your peace of mind just all of it so it's like taking a break and focusing on that and not indulging in too much social media to the point where you you are literally now depressed like so that's how I'll say like my time away has impact, impact my perspective of it. Like that that really showed me, especially like I said that that time where I was in my car just scrolling on TikTok and that TikTok popped up on my feed and I watched it and it just made me cry. I'm just like, I cannot do this. Like have an amazing day and then you get online and then you see something sad and then next thing you know, it just ruins your whole day. And it's like, I don't think that's normal, which is why I do believe in breaks and I do believe in taking, you know, social media breaks and taking a step back to really regain your your focus on what it is, you, your purpose in life and everything you want to do in life so that you're not just cons consistently engaging in social media and everything that social media has to offer, whether it's bad or good, because it does, it does something to your mental believe it or not so i do believe taking breaks and taking steps back from the social media being whether you're posting on it i do believe you should take a step back from posting on social media sometimes but i also believe that you should take a, a take a break from social media period because <sighs> yes y'all it can be it can be very damaging and draining to your mind so you gotta you know learn self-control and learn to you know take the take a step back and learn to focus on other things other than the media so that has definitely been my perspective and regardless if i'm posting on social media and or not like even me coming back to the media now i still want to do breaks from social media not posting on social media but not being on social media or looking at everything on the media every single day like no i guess you know one of the new things for me, with this whole break, a new thing is that your girl literally is now a homeowner. I purchased a home. That's a whole nother series for its own. That's a new, that's another series, y'all. I'm literally creating a series for my whole homeowner journey of me being a homeowner. It's gonna pretty, it's gonna be called the home that I own. <laughs> Cause your girl is literally a homeowner now. Like that is so crazy to me, but that's gonna be that's literally what's been new i am in my new house as y'all can see it's a full new setup i don't even got a lot of things set up a lot of things moved or not moved but in its place and just pretty much redecorating my whole new house like the home that i own so that's gonna be another series and that's something new if you're wondering yes y'all your girl is in a new place i'm pretty sure y'all already seen it on instagram when i post my pictures but y'all haven't really just got the scoop the tea might I say on like that whole thing but like I say that's another series I have a ton of vlogs I've literally been filming and documenting this whole journey of me becoming a homeowner since I started the process of building and putting in my payment to pretty much secure my home and all the way up until my closing I've literally been documenting this since last year of June so and that whole documentary is literally about to come up one year one year from now in june so that's how long i literally been filming that series for y'all but that's coming soon so stay tuned for that so i guess that goes into the next question basically how has my mental health been and a lot of y'all have been asking me that on snapchat and i've answered it quite a few times but just overall to sum it up like my mental health now has literally been great obviously <laughs> when you're not on the media or when you're not you know you're just living in the moment Obviously, your mental and your peace is a hundred times better, but yes, y'all, my mental health has literally been great. It's been great, might I say. Also, it's basically saying when I do return to social media, which your girl now is back, I guess how would I maintain a healthy balance between social media um, now that I'm back in my online presence, which obviously I just mentioned it basically. Obviously, I'm still gonna be posting since I'm back. Obviously, content on YouTube will be consistent. But how I will, I guess, maintain and balance that, with, which will obviously be, you know, not being on the media every single day, whether I post it on the media and then just post on YouTube and then just 
go off the grid, like no looking at nothing, nothing else on the medium. That's kind of like how I feel like I will balance it well. Like just, you know, whether I post and just get off, don't go engaging in nothing else. So yeah, that's kind of like how I plan to move forward with being back on the media, but also how I plan to, you know, keep my mental health amazing and keep my peace, which is, you know, not indulging in too much social media every single day. So this question is basically, what advice would I give other people who's in the influencer world or industry or people who want to get in the, I guess, influencer um, world who may be struggling with um, mental health or challenges within, you know, this whole space. And I feel like I say this stuff all the time. I think the main reason people are depressed and are, you know, can become depressed and be depressed and the reason why people mental health sometimes is like declining is because I don't think a lot of people, sometimes I feel like it can be hard because honestly for me, taking breaks and really, even the first time I took a break ever, it literally was hard because I'm like, dang it, I'm so used to always posting. What are, what are people gonna think? What is gonna happen like to my you know supporters? Are they gonna still support me? And I feel like a lot of people get in their head about that. And honestly, that is where the problem lies, really because I feel like you, and don't get me wrong, like y'all know this, I love my supporters to death, baby. Like y'all don't understand how much I love y'all because y'all have literally supported me through so much and it literally means so much to me. And that is honest, honestly the reason why I continue doing what I'm doing, like continue, you know, being YouTube. Cause a lot of people think I'm a quit YouTube, but honestly, I always tell people when people say, will you ever quit YouTube? And honestly, I don't think I would ever quit YouTube. Like maybe eventually when I do, you know, get married, have kids, it will look different, but quit, no. Because this is something that I actually love and enjoy. And I feel like the reason that I always get that, get that spark when it comes to just posting on YouTube and even when I've been gone for months and I come back and I just be so, ugh, like it's just, it, it just, I get so much energy, it recharges my battery. It's because I take these breaks. And that is what keeps me loving what I do. But I think that is the problem. I think some people is always, always worried about what, what would people think and not so much what it would do to them if they don't take a break or take a step back and really just focus on themselves and really pour into their mental. Like, that is the problem. So I feel like my advice would be, put yourself first. Really, really, really put yourself first and really t take it seriously when it comes to your mental health. Because I feel like a lot of people can feel it, can feel the depression coming, can feel the sadness coming, and then it's kind of like you don't do nothing about it because you feel like you have to, you know, have this presence or continue being seen or being shown on the media. And it's like, eventually, only thing that's gonna do is become more damaging and more damaging and it's gonna get to a point of no return. So that is why you have to have breaks. That's why when I feel like, all right, I made my point, I need to take a break, I'm gonna take a break because I feel like if I don't, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to come back where it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be who I am. It's not gonna be the content that I like creating. It's not gonna be the same Vieira on social media because I have gotten to a place where I'm, I'm miserable, I'm depressed, so I'm not happy, I'm not, I'm not at peace, I'm not in peace, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that would be, honestly, my number one advice. Please listen to your body, please listen to your mind when you feel like it is time for you to really just take a step back. And honestly, that can go for anything. That doesn't, doesn't even have to go from social media. That can be from just relationships, um, friendships, whatever it is, if it's something where it's consuming your mind or it's so draining to you often and you need to take a step back, take a step back, y'all. Like, please, 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 please. So if you're looking to be an influencer or whatever the case may be, or you are an influencer watching this and you're looking for the advice, that is my advice. Please, if you need a break, take it. So now let's pretty much go into and let's talk about what your girl has been doing and where I have been. Whew, because child, it's literally been so much, but like I said, I wrote down notes from October 23rd all the way up to the present day, which is today. So back in 
I think it was October, the end of October, which it was something I don't think I filmed. Obviously, I wouldn't film. But it was my collection or my photo shoot and my campaign for L-O-R-V-A-E, my brand, and it was my Crystal Clear collection. And y'all, when I tell y'all, this collection did so good, and that's because I listened to y'all, and a lot of y'all, a lot of my supporters and a lot of people who, you know, support the brand, my brand in general, you know, can't just always wear sunglasses. So a lot of y'all have been saying for months and months and months, like, hey, can we get more, you know, blue light lenses? Can we get glasses that we can put our prescription in? And so I did that. I did a full whole collection just for that, just for y'all. So that launched um, of this that lunch, that lunch this year, but that shoe was October of last year. And y'all, thank y'all so much for the support. Y'all sold it out like always. But that collection did so good. And a lot of y'all want more prescription glasses and more colors. So obviously I have that coming for y'all too. Um, also in October, I did Horror Nights, which I don't think I posted anything from Horror Nights in general. Like I have so many pictures from that, so many clips, and I don't think I posted anything. Like I just completely forgot about Halloween and didn't post anything from Halloween. And I wasn't vlogging around that time either, so I didn't film it. But I went to Horror Nights, um, me and my full team, obviously, my Lord Bay team, and also Aaliyah J. So if y'all know Aaliyah J on YouTube, she also came. She was our special guest. So shout out to you, girl. She was in LA at the time, so she came. We invited her, and she was gonna be in LA during that time, so it was perfect. It just made it made perfect sense. So she came, and she was our special guest. It were horror nights of last year, and it was so much fun, y'all. We literally had a blast. Like we went to eat first, and then we went into the park, and then we just did all the honey houses. It was so much fun. But y'all know I love, I love, love, love. It's probably my favorite place, Universal, and I love Horror Nights because y'all know my favorite season and my favorite holiday is Halloween and fall. But that was like, you know, October, yes, the end of, was it the end of October? The beginning of November. I think that was the end of October. And then obviously, um, towards November, I went to Friendsgiving for this brand called LYS. It's a makeup company, which I mentioned, I mentioned them on my channel a lot, and I think I did a full face of their makeup because they sent me a whole PR package of every single product. And so that's literally like the foundation, everything that I was using. So I went to their friends giving because they invited your girl. And that was such, such a fun event. I literally had such a good time. I met the owner, and I'm supposed to be going to their um, headquarters because they want me to come when I'm in town and visiting. So I'm like, okay, y'all. So I'm supposed to be doing that, but y'all, that event was so much fun. I literally had a blast. Also, during this whole break, I had my closing day. So y'all know, like I mentioned before, I bought a house. And so I've been documenting this whole process, but during my break, I closed on my home. During this break, I closed on my home, did my home orientation. Child, what else? I had to, before I even had to close, went through that whole, process of just the whole process of just buying a house it was just literally but i'll talk about in another vlog the ups and downs with that because y'all it, it was an amazing feeling honestly but it, it was stressful i'm not gonna even hold you but like i said i did that i closed i packed up i moved so i'm in a new space and i'm just so happy about it. i'm just so happy to finally own property like this is just uh, a dream come true and i'm just so happy about that so also i went to destin florida for thanksgiving i was in florida for thanksgiving and that was an amazing amazing trip just a getaway in general even though it was thanksgiving but it was like a getaway because it was in destin florida that was the vibe also um i went to i went home i went to louisiana and i also went home in memphis, to memphis for Christmas and it was a vibe. In Louisiana, we did like this eggnog taste testing. So that was fun, like an eggnog daiquiri taste testing. Y'all, that was amazing, that was fun. And then I went home to Memphis. So I seen all my family, seen my granny. She was so happy to see me. Christmas in general was a vibe. Um, just watching everybody open their gifts. And this year, well last year, last Christmas, we had Christmas at my grandparents' house. Usually we would have like Christmas, um, at my auntie's house Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at my auntie's house. But this year we ended up having Christmas Day at my granny house. So it was just so amazing to just have Christmas over there like we did. Like we, you know, did obviously when I was growing up in like times that we had before when my granddaddy was here and we had Christmas like just at my grandparents' house. So that was the first time we've had Christmas at my grandparents' house since 
2020, I believe, 2020. I think that was the last time we had Christmas at my grandparents' house. So we had it last year and it was, it was so much fun, y'all. Penny, when it was her time, baby, she acted a fool. So they ended up sending me home with some medicine to give her to try to calm her down before her next appointment. Y'all, when I went in there, I don't know what happened, but that medicine did not work. So we was like, all right now, so what, what's the plan? So we ended up having to get her sedated so that they can give her her shots because she needed to be updated on her shots and also groom her and cut her nails. So that happened, y'all. And it was just so crazy to see Penny just so sleep, just laying down. And like I said, just to see her with her claws trimmed and her coat, you know, her, her fur, you know, cut down because she, y'all, she hasn't been groomed and I don't know how long. And it it's just, it's just impossible if she's up because baby, she would tear you up. <laughs> also, I was in LA as well because I did a photo shoot for YouTube. They flew a girl out to be a part of this whole, um, this photo shoot, which y'all, yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about this. Like I said, we got a lot to talk about, but I went, I was out there already. So I ended up doing that photo. Well, no, I wasn't out there. They flew me out there and I ended up staying, leading it to Valentine's Day. So yes, when I was out there, they flew me out there, did the whole photo shoot. That was amazing. And then I was already there. So ended up having Valentine's there. So I was surprised. Obviously y'all seen that um, with a big, big, big bouquet of flowers. And it was just, so cute it was just y'all i literally still had those flowers and for some reason flowers is still looking good but did that also was surprised by the time they with this whole gondola ride like you know the little gondola thing that you do in italy did that it was uh, just so beautiful it was at nighttime too so like the vibes was vibing baby like a good time literally probably that, i don't know i feel like valentine's day every year for me literally gets better and better and better so we'll see how it's top next year, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this year was, it was just such a vibe. It was so romantic. Oh, I just loved it. And so from LA, went to New York because your girl literally had to speak on a panel at this college. It was called Pace, Pace, Pace um, University in New York, which, which, which was a vibe, y'all. Literally had such an amazing time. The students, all of y'all, shout out to y'all. I loved it. I had such a good time at the college and speaking. Um, also the people who brought me out and the people who, you know, I was I was in contact with, I met them and they were so amazing. Literally like that whole experience when I was in New York speaking at that college was great. I literally love speaking at colleges, but I literally had such a vibe. And I think that was honestly my first time ever going to a college in New York. Yeah, I think that was my first time ever going to a college in New York, but overall y'all, yeah, I had an amazing time. And then, um, I went to a LSU game, LSU versus, who was they playing? Who was they playing? I can't even think about, I can't even remember who they was playing, child. But I drove literally to South Carolina to watch them play. And that was, that was a vibe, but did that. And then I flew home to Memphis to do my global entry appointment, which y'all, like I was telling my Snapchat, I'm documenting, I'm doing this whole documentary now. Well, I'm going to be documenting, but obviously y'all will see the vlogs, but I'm on this journey to have my passport fully stamped and before it expires. So I think I have about eight pages left to have fully stamped before my passport expires, which is gonna be done, it's, it's possible. And so I got literally a ton, when I say, I don't even know, I think maybe six, I'll probably be visiting six, six, six or seven countries this year alone. So, child, that might even snap it up, but then I'll stamp it up, but also make sure the plans that I have too. So, child, who knows? But that is the plan, y'all. I'm trying to literally have my passport stamped up um, before it expires. So I went home to do my global entry so I could have global entry. And then while I was there, I see my family, see my granny. She was so excited to see a girl. <laughs> every time, every time I literally see my granny, she be so, literally, it can be like a week Two weeks when I literally go over and visit my granny, she be literally so happy to see me every time. And she be like, Diara. But I just love my granny so much. Um, also, y'all, I had to get my international driver's license. So I ended up doing that. I had to take a picture at CVS. So basically a passport picture and then take it to get my driver's license. So basically you had to fill out this form, which was already done beforehand. So all I had to do was just take my picture, get the pictures, bring the pictures and bring 
the form already printed out and all they have to do is pretty much go over it and all of that. And then you get your pretty much your international driver license and it lasts for a year. So I got that y'all. So your girl is literally about to be driving over country, overseas. <laughs> but honestly, I got that for one reason and one, one reason only and that's for my trip to Japan. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, also did fork and film, which I've literally been wanting to do that for, I don't even know how long baby. I, and every time it's sold out. And so I finally, finally got to do it. And it was such an amazing experience seeing Princess and the Frog. And when I say that's probably like, I don't know, I feel like that was probably one of the best movies you can honestly see when you're doing fork and film. Cause basically you're watching the movie and everything, you know, every, not every exact thing, but most of the food that's in the movie, you're going to be eating in real life. And y'all, when I tell you the food was a hundred out of 10, everything was amazing. And they said the chef, or I think the owner, but also the chef of like the whole event for the film is from Louisiana. So that's probably why that food was a hundred out of 10. Cause when I say every single thing was amazing, literally told everything up. And then also I ended up going to my lash tech slash friend baby shower. So my lash tech y'all, she is pregnant. <laughs> Shout out to you, Denny. I love you girl. She is pregnant. So I went to her baby shower and y'all baby had an amazing time. Might I tell you, I usually go like I went to like her daughter's birthday parties and all of that. And baby, when I tell you, they, they baby amazing. Literally be, the parties be lit. The baby shower lasted till 2, 3 a.m. I didn't leave, we didn't leave, me and my friends, we didn't leave till about 2, 2 a.m. or 1, 1 a.m. But y'all, the part, and I asked her the next time she did my lashes, I was like, what time did y'all leave? Like, what time was the party over? She was like, they didn't get out of there. She had to extend the venue that she had her baby shower at. Um, another two hours, and they didn't get out of there till about like 3, 3 a.m. Which is insane, but y'all, that baby shower wasn't even the baby shower, that was literally a party. And when I say you, it was a ball, had a ball was had, a time was had, baby, a time was had at that baby shower. So that's pretty much the whole timeline of everything that I've been doing since I've literally posted my last video on YouTube and like this whole break from YouTube, that is literally what your girl has been doing. Outside of obviously, I posted on my story in January, January 31st, no, January 30th, I posted on my story um, because I was doing something that day and I was basically just saying like, you know, Remember this day. Remember January 31st. So again, when y'all watching this, remember January 31st and y'all will see what I'm talking about soon. But that is what your girl has been up to. And like I said, this break has been so amazing. Ugh, and I miss y'all so much. And I'm so, 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 so happy to be back. Obviously because it's, a di it's different vibes. Like the energy, ugh, it was just... <sighs> like obviously the energy is it's gonna be it's gonna be a hundred on, on a hundred because like i've been gone and i've been you know obviously working on things and you know curating and working on my comeback and what i have planned it's just gonna be chef kisses but your girl is back back and ever and i'm so excited to be back so let's talk down in the comments baby i miss y'all so much and just Thank y'all, thank y'all again. I can't even express how grateful I am to have y'all as supporters because baby, my supporters ride. Made I, made I say like, I mean, come on now. Like y'all have literally been there for your girl since day one. And just, uh, I just love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much and I love y'all so much. And I appreciate, you know, all the people who be, you know, super, be missing me. Y'all be missing me. Y'all be, you know, harassing your girl and everybody that I follow to tell me to come back. But I feel it and I also appreciate y'all for, you know, obviously allowing me to go on my break and still being there for me when I do pop back up and I do pop back out with these surprises and stuff. So like, or just pop back out in general, going on these breaks and popping, popping back out. Like I appreciate y'all for not saying y'all allow me because <laughs> I'm gonna do it regardless of that because this, this is for me. This is for my inner peace and my mental health. But thank y'all for always understanding and being appreciative of when I am here and when I am creating content. And always showing me that y'all miss me. Like, ugh. I love y'all so much, y'all. And I just, I honestly am just so excited. This is probably the most excited I've ever been for just creating content in general on YouTube and just being back on the platform because the ideas that I have, it, 
it's a lot. I have so much to really just catch y'all up on. I have so many videos already ready to go. And like I said, stay tuned for that series because your girl is literally about to get her passport stepped up all the way up, passport book fully stamped before it expires. So I'm so excited for everything that I have to come and I cannot wait for y'all to see every single thing. 2023 was amazing. Shout out to y'all, like 2023 was literally like, uh, it was a great year. And now we are in 2024 and 2024 is literally so much, so many new things, new beginnings. Like I said, I'm in a whole new space. I moved, your girl literally bought a freaking property. I'm a person who believes when one door closes, another door opens. And when that door closes, a bigger and better door opens. So that's literally my whole 2024. That is my, my my era that I'm in, like the boss era, and like doors opening for bigger and better things to arise. And like I said, 2024, 2023 was great. 2023 was amazing. But 2024, I don't know, I just feel like every every day I'm just always evolving and every month and every year it just gets better and better and better and better for me and for y'all. So stay tuned. Cause 2024, baby, is not to be a movie. And I love y'all so much. Y'all don't even understand. And I'm just happy to be back. So, are y'all happy that your crew is back? Stay tuned for what's to come. I love y'all so much. Mm -hmm. Bye.